If you're a go-go sports fan, do I have a recipe for you, a blue cheese baked ham. We're dressing up a regular ham with lovely, lovely blue cheese. Look at this crumbly exterior. Look how beautiful that is. You've got these lovely blue veins, really nice bite, salty. I always, always have some of this on hand, even just a crumble over salads and soups and maybe some pizza, really nice cheese. Actually, let's start with the dressing first. We're gonna do our little stuffing. Got some crumbled blue cheese. Leave this here. This way I can pick at it. Then we've got some breadcrumbs. And a list of ingredients are at the end of the video. Melted butter. Little garlic. And a little bit of fresh rosemary. I don't need very much, about a tablespoon, so that'll do it. This we can use in thereafter. It goes in here. I'm not gonna season with salt because we've got saltiness from the blue cheese. The ham's also salty. All we need here is a good generous pinch of black pepper. You wanna bring your blue cheese room temperature. It's a lot easier to work with. If your piece of cheese is cold, it's really hard to handle. A good substitute if your children, if you're working with children that are a little bit picky and you want some tamer flavors, you can try Canadian Gouda. That would work really, really well or a nice Canadian aged cheddar, that also works well. Here we are. Now we're gonna make some nice even slashes, but you don't wanna go all the way through because you don't wanna lose your filling. About three quarters. One more. Go, I'll go get my baking dish. And I'd rather stuff it here because I'm gonna make a mess. I could just see it, that's better. I'll go back, I wanna distribute it evenly. Well, that looks nice, I'm good like that. I'm gonna add some vegetables. I've got these lovely, lovely root vegetables that I was able to find. Carrots, there's some red ones and some little orange ones, just distribute them around like that. Some little spring onions, white and red. We eat with our eyes, so all these colors are gonna be great. And then we've got some celery, one or two bay leaves. We've got some apple juice. I'm using a red ale here. Smooth maltiness really marries well with the salty and the blue cheese in here, so it really works well. Now we're cooking this in a preheated oven, 325 degrees, 40 minutes covered. And then the last 20 minutes, we're gonna uncover. Let's put this in the oven. My blue cheese baked ham is ready. My vegetables are ready. I'm bringing this to the table and I have time to enjoy with my family.